If your LDL cholesterol came back high, your first thought might be, do I need to go on medication or what can I do to fix this? But before you jump straight into treatment, it's worth asking the question, why is my cholesterol high in the first place? Because the truth is those standard cholesterol numbers, HDL, LDL, triglycerides, total cholesterol, they don't always tell you exactly if you're at risk for heart disease. In this video, I'll show you how to look beyond these basic numbers using tests like apolipoprotein B or ApoB, lipoprotein A, and also sterols to uncover what's really driving your cholesterol and whether medication, diet, or something else might be the right move for you. Millions of people have prescribed statins every year just based on their LDL cholesterol alone but it's just one piece of the puzzle. Some people can have high LDL because their liver's making too much cholesterol. Other people can be absorbing too much from food and bile in the gut. These two causes can look identical on a standard blood test, but the treatment's completely different. And that's why it's important to dig a little bit deeper before making these big decisions about your health. Your basic lipid panel gives you the total cholesterol, LDL, HDL, and triglycerides. It's helpful, but it's only telling you how much cholesterol is present and not how it's being carried. Think of LDL cholesterol as like the cargo and your arteries are the highways. What really matters is how many delivery trucks are on that road and whether they're driving safely or crashing into the walls. And that's where ApoB comes in. This test counts how many of those trucks are actually on the road. Every LDL particle has one ApoB attached. So measuring ApoB gives you the total number of particles carrying cholesterol. A high ApoB means there's more particles bumping against arterial walls, even if your LDL cholesterol looks normal. And this is gonna be worse if you have high inflammation. ApoB is one of the most accurate markers for predicting heart disease and stroke. Then there's lipoprotein A, often written as LP little a. It's a form of LDL that's been coated with a sticky glue-like protein. LP little a increases inflammation and makes clots more likely, and it's almost entirely genetic. You can't lower it directly with diet or even most medications, but knowing your levels helps you understand how aggressive you should be with other risk factors. This marker is something you don't have to test regularly because if someone's high or low when they're young, they're always going to be low high or low for the rest of their lives. So far I've talked about how much cholesterol is being carried around in the blood, but sterile testing can help us understand why it's high. They tell us whether your body is producing too much cholesterol or absorbing too much from the gut. Desmosterol and lathosterol are the production markers. If these are high, your liver is overproducing cholesterol. Camposterol and cytosterol, they're the absorption markers. If these are high, it means your intestines are reabsorbing more cholesterol from the food or even from the bile. This distinction completely changes our strategy when we're treating somebody. If you're an overproducer, you'll respond better to liver-focused approaches. Things like statins potentially, red yeast, rice, or supporting bile flow and detox pathways. And if you're an overabsorber, adding more fiber, reducing saturated fats, and sometimes using binders or medications like azetamide can work far better. Without sterile testing, you're just guessing which pathway is the problem. For example, I'm what's called a hyperabsorber. My body naturally absorbs more cholesterol through the gut. I've done long-term ketogenic diets in the past, and whenever I've done them, I've felt amazing, but my cholesterol goes sky high. And while some people say this is not that important and it's not gonna cause heart disease, I've got the scans to approve otherwise. When we combine all of these markers, we get a complete picture. LDL tells us how much cholesterol is present. ApoB tells us how many particles are carrying it. LP little a shows if those particles are extra sticky and inflammatory, and the sterols reveal why cholesterol is high in the first place. And when we have that information, we can personalize your treatment plan instead of relying on guesswork and just doing the same thing for everyone. Because the goal isn't just to lower the numbers, it's to understand what those numbers mean. So if your cholesterol is high and you're being told you need medication, ask for more information before you decide on what to do next. As a minimum, check your ApoB, lipoprotein A, and sterols, and they'll show whether your cholesterol is actually the risk and what's driving it. All of these can be tested on the CardioZuma test, including other markers for inflammation, oxidative stress. And if you want to find out more about this test, watch the video on the CardioZuma next. I'll leave a description in the show notes. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.